how many locks have you lost here are just a few of the locks that i have lost what are your length goals for this year does your hair attract a different type of man yes i do um, i would say with my hair lately shrinkage has definitely been real so hopefully that's a good sign hey y'all welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to be filming my three-year lock update but I'm going to be answering y'all's questions while I'm getting ready for the day. It's going to be in the form of a chit chat, get ready with me type of deal because I'm getting ready right now to go. But I wanted to make sure that I film this video for y'all and get it out as soon as possible. I do have some screenshots here of all the questions that y'all asked me on Instagram. So if you're not following me then go ahead and do it. It'll be on the screen. So just be sure to follow me if you don't want to miss another opportunity for your question to get answered in a Q&A. I can't believe I've had my locks for three years. It's all braided up right now, but don't worry. Y'all gonna see the results after I get done getting ready. So it's gonna be a process. Currently in the middle of retidying my hair, so I did do this little chunk. If this part is looking fresh and the rest is not, that's why your girl is struggling. We gonna get into that though, because a lot of y'all ask questions about the whole retightening business and just know the struggle is real for me. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Get ready with me because I'm just ready to get cute. Whenever I get ready, I normally start with my makeup and then I do my hair last. Let me know if y'all are like that too. I know that some people start with their hair first and then do their makeup last, but to me that just seems a little backwards. I will have all the products that I'm gonna be using linked down below. I'm not really gonna get too deep into the products that I'm gonna be using because everything will be linked and this is a hair Q&A, so I don't wanna make it more makeup related if you know what i'm saying so the first question is from ray underscore franklin and she asks is your hair starting to lock up and how do you keep your ends curly my hair is definitely oh this is very very light whoa i did a really horrible job of picking my shade hold on let me fix this first yeah i'm gonna blend this out maybe it'll get better mm -mm. Oh no ma'am. No, 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 no. My hair is definitely starting to lock up. How do I keep my ends curly? I don't do anything, y'all. I get this question so often and I literally don't do anything to my hair. This concealer is definitely way too light for me, so I'm gonna go in with my old faithful concealer to see if that helps a little bit i don't do anything special to keep my ends curly but they just simply haven't locked yet i don't know why it just hasn't happened yet i do know that if you are looking to keep your ends curly though there are some locked youtubers out there who have tutorials on how to do that i'm pretty sure all they do is just comb through it and put conditioner on your ends to keep it moisturized to keep it curly to prevent it from like budding up and locking. Aesthetically, I do like that my ends are curly, but I also wouldn't mind if it went ahead and locked up. I don't really care as much about that. Have you decided if you would dye your hair? Have you considered henna? All right, so the last time that I mentioned that I wanted to dye my hair, I did say that I would look into doing the whole henna thing. Truth be told, I didn't because I just kind of let go of the whole dream of dyeing my hair for a second because I really just don't see myself doing it anytime soon just because my locks are locking up but it seems like it's just taking a while I don't know I definitely thought that my hair would be fully locked by now but I still don't think that it's quite there yet my hair is still very fluffy and my locks are just not very solid yet it's getting there but it just hasn't happened yet so I have put my dreams of dyeing my locks on hold only for now though. Did you use a shower cap whenever you first started? I did use a shower cap whenever I first started. I believe I used a shower cap up until like month six. I definitely would recommend doing that because whenever you first start your locks, your hair is so prone to slippage. Oh lord, I messed up my eyebrow. Is it? Mm -hmm. No. I have to fix it. How many locks have you lost or combined? I honestly think that you don't want to know. I have lost so many locks. It's ridiculous. I think this year alone, I have lost at least three or four. 
at least. I need to do a whole lock count again because honestly y'all, I don't remember how many locks I started with. I don't know how many I have now, but I do know that I have lost quite a few. I mean, it has been under 10, so I haven't just lost a crazy amount of locks, but I have definitely lost a good amount. Here are just a few of the locks that I have lost. How often do you retie now? Any regret? I'm gonna be straight up and honest with you. Your girl has not completely finished an entire retightening by herself ever. Never. I have I always have to get help from my mom. I'm looking for a loctician ASAP. ASAP. Anybody in Houston, please hit me up. You know anybody. Put me on to your loctician, okay? I don't know how y'all are out here doing this, but kudos to you if you are. If you live in Houston and you have a credible loctician, please put me on to your loctician because I need one in my life. I need, I need, you see, you see what I've done and that's like a little bit and it's in the front. I need help. I, I honestly need help. If you plan on getting locks and you're gonna be taking care of them by yourself, I really would recommend you think twice about that. That's all I'm asking. I'm not saying that locks are horrible and that I hate my decision to get locks because I don't, I love my hair. I love how easy it is on the day-to-day -day basis, but the retightening and the maintenance of it is a handful. And please understand that. And that's not to say that it's not worth it. I think that it is worth it. I just, I just need to, I'm playing catch up right now. I just need to get my life together as far as the retightenings go. I'm still baking under my eyes, but I am going to um, add some eyeliner. Doing this is just so nerve wracking for me. What are your length goals for this year? For me, I would say I don't have any. Last year I had length goals and this year I'm just gonna let it go. I think that I put too much pressure on myself and too much emphasis on my hair that I need to just let it go. My hair is a part of me. It's, it's, you know, it's mine, it's attached to my head, but it's not the end all be all and it's going to grow. That's just how it is. Um, especially if you take care of it and you take care of yourself, your hair is gonna grow. I do want like long locks, but I'm not going to like say that I want my hair to be a certain length. This coming year in 2022, I'm just gonna let it go. You know, just let it be. My hair is gonna grow and all will be well. Let go of my expectations and just live my life because it's going to grow. I don't need to micromanage it. And if I think about my length goals, I'm going to micromanage. I just know myself. A lot of these questions that I got, I have answered before. So I'm trying to pick out the ones that I haven't really answered or some that I find really interesting. This one says, I started with twists as well. How long before you started to notice a difference? Honestly, I would say I first started to notice a difference around the six month mark. I have a whole playlist, by the way, of my whole micro lock journey. And within my first year, I believe I did monthly lock updates. And I believe my six month mark was a really big change. I had all of these changes go on. So I would recommend going back and watching that if you can. But I remember six months I stopped braiding and banding. I believe I kept braiding, but I stopped banding banding my hair with rubber bands. I found it to be damaging unnecessarily to a certain extent because every time I would take my rubber bands out, I would lose hair like from my end. And it wasn't because I was doing it really rough. I wasn't, it's just that, you know, having that rubber in your hair, I just don't think it's a good idea. So I stopped banding, but I believe I kept braiding until like the one year mark. Sometimes I do still braid my hair only because it's very convenient. If I don't braid my hair while I'm in the shower washing it, I'm going to have to do it after I get out because I really want that braid out. I want the curls, you know, so I'm going to have to braid it anyways. And I just find that it's easier to just go ahead and braid it before you wash your hair because then that way it can just dry in the braids and you have a really bomb braid out. What size are your locks and how are the locks with the braided ends doing? Hmm, so my locks are, I believe my part size is like one eighth of an inch. So it's fairly small. What was the other question? I forgot that fast. 
What size are your locks? How are the locks with the braided ends doing? So the locks with the braided ends are doing well. I haven't really noticed the difference. Now I can't even tell which ones I braided. If you're considering doing that, I definitely would recommend because whenever you braid your ends, you probably won't be experiencing a lot of unraveling like how I did within the first two years. I think that this year, my third year, has been the first year that I haven't experienced unraveling. I don't think at all. Honestly, I don't remember the last time that I had experienced that. So three years in, I finally done with the unraveling, y'all. So if you can, I would definitely would braid your ends during the install so that you don't even have to go through that. Now, in the beginning, it might look a little bit funny because where the twists are, it'll be a little chunkier. And then where you braid it, it'll be skinnier. But in the end, you really won't notice a difference. But if you're just worried about the aesthetics, just go ahead and twist it all the way down. And you're just gonna have to probably deal with the unraveling like how I did. And you can just retwist it if you like. But aesthetically, I don't think it looks that bad, but you can tell a difference. So if that's something that you think is gonna bother you, then I would just go ahead and twist your locks or twist your starter locks all the way down instead of braiding the ends. But if you don't care like me, I'm three years in and I cannot even tell which ones I braided. So I definitely would recommend doing that just to save you some time so that you won't be constantly retwisting your locks because that is so annoying. It gets old really fast. At first it's like, you know, okay, because you're just starting your locks. So you kind of want to be all in your head anyway, but as time goes on, you're not going to want to do that. Y'all, lately whenever I do my makeup, I have been adding blush to my eyelids because it just gives me like a little bit of a pop, but I also don't have to like worry about the shades not matching because I'm new to makeup. So having a big palette with a whole bunch of colors is kind of intimidating because I just want to do everything and then it ends up not looking right. If you go with the same color that you put on your cheeks on your eyelids, it'll be like a little monochromatic look and it'll look good. At least in my humble opinion, I think that it looks good. Okay, but I am gonna go in with this. This is a new palette. I know this isn't a makeup video. Let me answer another question. Hold on, I'm getting distracted. Do you regret your decision of locking your hair? No, I don't. I don't regret it at all. I love my locks. I love waking up and just getting to go without having to worry about much. It can be really rough out here. Whenever you're getting ready in the morning, you don't know what you're gonna do with your hair. It hasn't been a thought in three years about what I'm gonna do with my hair whenever I wake up in the morning, so I love that. Can you do a lock recount video? I definitely am up for that. But tell me this, for those of y'all that want me to do a lock recount video, what do you want the video to entail? Like literally just me sitting there counting my locks or like doing something else while doing that. One of the reasons why I haven't done like a recount video for my locks is because I don't know like how to film it. Because I feel like it would be boring y'all just watching me sit there and count my locks. If you could describe the video that you want to see that includes me counting my locks, let me know what that would be. Alright, I'm done with my makeup. I'm just going to be taking some of this coconut oil and I'm going to spray it in my locks before I take it down. Does your hair attract a different type of man? Yes, I do. It's true. Whenever you get locks, you will attract a whole different sector of the male species. I have to say, I really like the type of guys that I attract for the most part. Honestly, I think that the guys that are attracted to locks specifically are like a different type of breed, to be honest. But I have ran into this type of guy. You know the guys that love natural hair? They love... You know, Dr. Sabi and Eden Wright, veganism, poets, like that type of guy. I have ran into some that will uplift you for having locks and, you know, sporting your natural hair. But then they will bash the black women that wear weave and wigs and things like that. And I don't like that. So you have to be careful for the fakes out there. The fake men who praise you for having natural hair but then turn around and demonize the women that used to wear weaves. I haven't ran into a lot of guys like that, but to be honest, they are out there and I feel like, I, I just don't like that type of energy. Like if you're gonna be laid back, cool, um, go with the flow type of dude, then be that. Don't, don't, don't be switching up, you know, like you love natural hair on one end, you're really, you know, soulful, but then you also are spewing hate 
on women that choose to wear weaves and wigs no sir yeah that just gives me bad energy but i haven't dealt with that too much i have mostly had you know decent guys that are attracted to me and try to pursue me i'm thinking about dyeing my locks should i do it before or after i get them installed definitely do it before you don't want to wait until after you start your locks to dye your hair whenever you first start your locks i feel like you should just leave them alone that's the best thing that you can do so that you can give them time to form and for your hair to just go through the locking process without any kind of disruption and I feel like dyeing your hair is a really big disruption. Any new hair journey, I feel like dyeing your hair is a big disruption so I would do it before. Honestly, that's what I should have done because I knew that I wanted to dye my hair but I was just too scared to do it at the time and now I regret it because now I have to wait until my locks are fully mature and who knows how long that's gonna take. At this point, I don't know it's probably gonna be three four years from now whenever I'm seven years locked I would say with my hair lately shrinkage has definitely been real so hopefully that's a good sign with my locks forming because um, normally my hair hangs like a little bit lower like down here whenever I do these braid outs but lately it has just been short and bouncy and cute which I really don't mind. I think that it's still cute. As far as styling my locks, I don't do much. Um, I mostly just do braid outs. I don't even do twist outs as often. Whenever I do do a twist out though, I find that it comes out the best whenever I freshly wash my hair and I do it the night that I wash my hair. It comes out the best. But typically on a day to day basis, I love a good braid out. Can you do an updated lock routine? slash what products have you been loving i can actually show y'all the products that i've been loving lately right now so these are just a few of the products that i have been using maybe i will do a whole separate video but it's really not much to it i'm telling y'all when it comes to my hair i don't really do much at all so for my shampoo and conditioner i have went back to the original the og the camera clarifying shampoo and the conditioner i do condition my hair now faithfully pretty much every time i wash my hair i condition that's at least like three times a month and i wash my hair pretty much every week even more if i'm really active if you are really active and you sweat a lot maybe you should double that but for me i only wash my hair like once a week so i condition three out of four times that i wash my hair so i've been loving those as far as doing my edges i have been doing that a lot lately i don't like slay my edges or anything but i do a little something to them i've been using this cbd and 24 karat gold edge grow that i got a while back this smells so so good it's in the coconut scent i also have a pineapple scent i have a strawberry scent i have a cherry mango scent but i love the coconut one the best because it goes along with my oil that i use pretty much every day this is the coconut weightless oil it's a hydrating oil mist i get this from target you can get it from target you can get it from walmart this thing stays sold out at my local walmart so i mostly find mine at target i like this because it's a lightweight hence the name weightless oil so it's not very heavy. You can use this every day, multiple times a day if you need to, and it won't weigh down your hair. It's just like the perfect amount of moisture. It gives your hair that shine. It just, it just, it just makes your hair look healthy. So I really love this. Um, I have this, and then I also, I prefer to use the coconut oil one. I use this one a lot, but I also like to use the argan oil of Morocco. This is also a heat, heatless. I meant to say weightless. This is also a weightless hydrating oil. The reason why I like this one the best is just because of the smell, but it's pretty much the same thing. And I like to apply this plus my coconut edge grow. Whenever the wind blows, my hair just smells like coconut. So I really love it. That's pretty much it, y'all. I finished my makeup. I'm done with my hair. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this little lock update slash q and A. I I know that I didn't really answer a lot of questions. That's only because most of y'all asked the exact same thing. So if you have any other questions that I didn't get to answer, leave them in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer all your questions. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of y'all and I'm out.
If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. 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 Yeah.